today we're reviewing some volume for the MCAS coming up. It's one of the upcoming modules that we haven't taught yet. So I wanted to go over one of the exit ticket questions today. So it's which of the two figures below has the greater volume? So we have here a sphere where it shows us that the diameter is eight millimeters. And over here we have a cone where the radius is three millimeters and the height is 6.5 millimeters. So first the question is asking what is the volume which which has a greater volume so our two volume equations are volume of a sphere is four-thirds pi r cubed and then the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared times height so we're gonna take the numbers that they give us and let's see if we have enough information to make a conclusion so eight millimeters this is our diameter it wants R, so we know that our diameter of eight millimeters is equal to one, is equal to two R. So if I divide both sides by two, I get four millimeters equals R. All right, so from here to here, four millimeters. That should give us enough information. We already know what pi is. Where I'm, I'm actually just gonna leave my answer in terms of pi. So four thirds pi and then four cubed. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna leave it that way for now. And then we're gonna come over here. We got the volume of a cone, one third pi r squared times h. Our height here is going to be 6.5 millimeters. So I'm gonna put that here. And my radius is going to be three millimeters. All right, so now I'm gonna take these two over here and I'm gonna compare them, right? I might not even have to multiply out the pi number because we can kind of, we can just see which one's greater. So we're looking to see which one's greater. Four thirds pi times four cubed, which is just gonna be times four again, so four to the four. Four to the four over three times pi. And we're, we don't know if it's greater than, equal to, so I'm just gonna put a colon for now, I guess. Because we know they're probably not gonna be equal. Versus pi, and then three squared times 6.5 over three. So we're looking to see if is this equal, is it greater than, less than, we're not sure. All right, so let's see. First off, one thing I'm seeing is I can cancel out the threes here. So I got three squared or three times three divided by three. I'm just gonna go like that. I'm gonna get rid of the squared and I'm going to get rid of this denominator here. So I now have three times 6.5 pi and then I have four to the fourth over three times pi. And because I know both my answers are gonna be in terms of pi, I'm just gonna get rid of the pi. All right, so now I'm looking to see which one's bigger, four to the four over three, or three times 6.5. If you haven't already noticed, four to the four is a much bigger number than this will become. This is gonna be somewhere between well, three times six is 18, and three times seven is 21. So somewhere between, somewhere around 20. So I'm gonna say this is about 20. And this over here, four times four times four times four. So four times four is 16, times four is 64, times four is 256. So 256 divided by Three, Let's see, three into two is. So this will be about 85.3, which is greater than 20. And we can bring the pi back, so it's gonna be about 85.3 pi is greater than 20-ish pi. All right, so those are some, I, I know I, I write diagonally. So I know 
I made a couple of assumptions here, but in terms of answering the question, we can make those assumptions, they're, they're safe, right? Like getting rid of pi, doing a little bit of rounding. If we decided that, you know, 85 was too close to whatever number came over here, you know, we'd want to take the extra time to make sure we actually figure out what three times 65, 6.5 was, or maybe add in a couple more decimals. All right, so our answer is the sphere is going to have a greater volume, given that that is eight, eight millimeters and that this is three millimeters and 6.5 millimeters, um, the last part of it. So our answer is going to be, I'm gonna bring it back up here. Um, our answer is going to be 85.3 pi. Now, one of the things I reviewed in class today was the measurements we're gonna use. So because this is a volume, there's three dimensions, it's gonna be millimeters cubed. All right, and there you have it. Um, if you like this, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. I have a couple more math tutorials, hopefully practicing for MCAS, and uh, I, I hope this was helpful for those trying to learn out there. Stay weird.